Okay, class. So, let's solve the problem sets na pre-prepare ko pagdating dito sa ating uh, strength of materials. Okay? Okay. So, for number one, the problem goes like this. The column has a cross-sectional area of 30 meters square. What can the approximate maximum load be if the compressive stress cannot, cannot exceed 9.6 kPa? Okay, so this is basic. Binigay na agad dito what type of uh, stress it handles. And then, binigay niyo yung cross-sectional area. <clears throat> so let us visualize yung problem. Uh, you have this column. Ibig sabihin, that is a uh, bar. Okay. You have this column. Kung saan, yung cross-sectional area mo is a square. And this is the loading. Okay. That is a compressive <coughs> force. Now, what is the compressive force? Ang tinatanong dyan. What can the approximate maximum load? Ibig sabihin, that is compressive force. Now, by formula, the stress, compressive stress, is equal to the force divided by the projected area. <coughs> Now, since wala namang binigay dyan kung anong figure, you're just given a value of your area. So, we might say na pwede na agad natin siyang isolve. Okay? Now, for the compressive load, that will be given by this formula, A times S C, where A is 13 meters squared. We'll just multiply that with D loading. <coughs> so, that is 9.6 APA in newtons per meter squared is kilonewton per meter squared. Okay? Kilonewton per meter squared. So, we will cancel the same units. And then, let us calculate 13 times 9.6 is that will be 124.8 kilometers. 124.8 kilometers. Okay. So let's go with number 2. Okay. The copper column of annular cross-section. Ano ba yung annular Okay? Let us visualize that later. Annular cross-section. As an outer diameter, outer diameter of 5 cm. So, meron kang outer diameter. Is, subject, is subjected to an axial loading axis. So, axial loading of 200 kN. The allowable compressive stress is 14.48. The wall thickness E should be most nearly, ibig sabihin na hanap natin, CT. Now, let's go with uh, recalling your formula for D. Okay? If you are given with DO, okay, the outside diameter, and then, we should say na yung DO natin is equal to the sum nung inside diameter plus twice nung thickness. Let us visualize, okay? Ito yung iyong washer. Washer kasi ang magiging figure mo dyan. Okay? Donut. Ibig sabihin. Okay. Itong part na ito, yung nasa loob, that is, the eye. Inside diameter. Now, yung nasa labas, that is, the I, the O. Okay? Ngayon, itong section na ito, kung saan, hindi space section siya, 
Okay? That is your thickness. Okay? So, we can visualize na yung thickness natin is equal to DO minus TI over 2T. Uh, over 2. Okay? Now, pwede rin natin gamitin yung ating height. Okay? Pero, ito na yung pinaka-basic. Since naman, pwede natin gamitin na yung 2DO is 2RO. So, 2R na lang na malaki, minus 2R na maliit. Divide by 2. We can <coughs> cancel both sides. Okay? Now that will be your thickness will be R. So, ang hinahanap lang natin dito is the i squared. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, ang hinahanap natin dito is the i squared. Now, we can simplify. Okay. So, iakit ko na dito. SC is equal to 4F. 4 check the problem if that is correct. Oh, okay. Kaya pala nagkaamali tayo. This is 5 meter, hindi siya 5 cm. Dapat ito 5 Dapat to 5 meter. So that is the fault in the problem. So this one is 5 meter. So hindi natin makailangan This will be 5 meter. Okay, delete natin yung mga maliit dyan. Okay, this will be 8 meter. Okay, this will be deleted. Okay, 
5 squared. It's really 5 squared then. Okay. 5 squared. Yung pala yung mali sa ganyan ng number. Okay. So, naayos na natin. We can find di by getting the square root of both sides. So, di will be calculate natin. So, 525 minus 800 divided by 14 point four. So that is 7.316. Okay. Kunin natin yung square root. <coughs> Ang answer. That will be 2.7048. 2.7048 meters. Okay. Hanapin natin in yung thickness. So the thickness will be minus di over 5 minus 2.7 that is in meters okay over 2 in meters kunin natin in mm that is 1000 mm 1 meter thickness will be will be 5 minus 2.7048 divide by 2 and then you multiply all by 1000 to get the conversion now you'll have nasa 1 meter okay. so 1147 Approximately 